Oh, it's me, Andy, from Blitz Gaming. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's getting a bit warm in the UK. Don't want it too warm, but we don't want it too cold either. Today's video, we have got a new cooler. I thought it was a big quiet one, but it's an Arctic IF35 cooler. Yeah, it, it's a... Uh, the Freezer i35 Tower CPU cooler for Intel. Now this comes in like four different versions. So when you buy it, you need to make sure you get the right one. This one fits 1200 and 1700 sockets. So the old sockets, 1155, 56, uh, make sure you get the one for them. Or if you want AMD4, make sure you get the AM4 one. And I think they do one for even older AMD CPUs as well. But basically, they're all the same, except I think that number is actually slightly different. Um, I'm not quite sure why they don't make one um, with different brackets. Arctic have decided they'd rather make like four or five different versions of the same cooler. Okay, let's open her up and see what we get. We get a nice big silver cooler. Nice big uh, wacky fan on the front now. Which is not bad at all. I should stick the dimensions up on the screen now. And it's got a thing on the bottom. So there's no place on the bottom, but there is a sticky tab. Don't forget to take it off. Because otherwise you'll be in uh, trouble. Trying to call your CPU. In the box we have at the bottom we have a cardboard box it comes with a bracket and that's gonna rather fit under the under the uh the motherboard or on top of the motherboard I'll give you an instruction leaflet, <laughs> unbelievable. But to get the manual, it says go online and get the, the, the manual. Okay, so we go online and get the manual and set it down. Um, so it comes with two brackets, so that must go underneath. Cooler, these come down on the top. Basically, these two brackets come down and you then bolt it down. For the mobile, so we have four white spaces. We also have the same. We also have four black spaces. Now I would take that being. Uh, 1200 or 1700 depends on what one you fit in you got to use the correct spaces yeah because we've got four screws and the same size screws come with i should do a zoom in and a second so you can see the parts and a, and a special thumb screw uh type of um nuts head also comes with a minus a little tube of MX5 is good because it's their latest uh, paste so it comes with Artix MX5 CPU paste it also comes with four o-rings um, that's obviously going to stop it making a, a vibration so yeah I should put the parts out on the, on the table and do a zoom in so you can see the parts So yeah, we will fit that to our um, our new ball, which we're wear, we're using here. Um, the Asrock, uh, I can't remember the number now. It is here. Asrock six ten M HDV forward slash M two motherboard. 
So I'm going to fit that on there with uh, the Intel 12600K, 16 gigs of DR memory, 36 gigahertz, even though it says on the manual it only takes 32 gigahertz, but we put 36 in there anyway. And it will go in our new AeroCall case. And we'll do a whole build of that going together. Now I have to look at these. Um, I thought that was a bit of a, a bit damaged in there. You already got the uh, the fins on the on the on the cooler. Some of them are straight, some of them are at an angle. I thought maybe I've dented them somehow in a box, but no, they are made like that. So yeah, it's got a nice big cooler on the front. Now I can't remember if this is the RGB version or not. Um, that looks like it's an RGB version. Uh, We'll see. And we'll put the price up on the screen in a second. And then we go. Right. Let's do it for real. Put it together. And see how it all comes out. Okay. One Alder Lake motherboard from Aswok. The H610 HDV slash M2. Okay. So again, we're going to put the Arctic i35 cooler on this board. So first thing we've got to do is the bracket. So here's the bracket. Uh, it goes on the back. It goes this way up. So with the profile sticking upwards. And according to the instructions on the net, the screws will go in. They go at the end for the 1700, and if you're going for 1200, they go inwards. Yeah, so it's either in, inside or right on the on the corner for the 1700. So we want 1700. So we want to get the four screws. So I said they go on the outside, right on the outside of the profile corner. Then you've got these little rubber o-rings and they go on now there's a little lip on the on the uh the bolt they've got to go underneath hold hold it still so it shouldn't look like that at the end of the day So you got okay, so you've got the rubber o-ring, goes under the little uh, the flange there, the hold is in position. That in turn, attaches to the motherboard. Like so. Now I've got to check, so I can't remember if it says use the white ones or the black ones for the 1700 socket. Give me a second. Okay, you need the black spacers, the four black spacers, the rubbery ones, out yeah, for LGA 1700. There you go, one like so. Okay, so once you've got the uh, the bungs on, yeah, so you've got the bracket through and the bungs on, don't put the, uh, to the next stage because we've got to put the CPU in. Oh, see, this is why I don't like this bracket. It's freaking tight and it pings everywhere. Before you put your CPU in, you want to make sure that you ain't got no dodgy pins. If you have, 
Oh, I made it. So you need to give me a new ball because you sent me a damaged one. We're okay. No problem. Believe me, they are not solid rock hard things. Um, I had a 1700 mother ball, expensive one. I had it on the side, I thought I'd put it on the side for a bit uh, while I had my dinner and some bizarre reason <laughs> it got pins damaged. I don't know what fell on it or whatever. But some odd reason it was damaged. So yeah, don't forget when you put the CPU in, you've got two notches at the top and at the bottom and they're slightly one side. Yeah. Right, you can see it on there. Yeah, they've got two notches at the top and bottom. I should do a a picture show up, it should show you what it look like, and they line up with the orientation in the grid. Make sure it's nicely in. Put this one down. Bring this one back. And then we're in. Let me do the brackets. These brackets go flat side down. Yeah. And they profile faces inwards. And don't forget. We've got our screws on the far right outside, so make sure they line up the same on the brackets. Otherwise, you find your CPU won't fit. The cooler won't fit. Can be a bit fiddly. There we are. You know, I use the iFixit kit um, for doing my builds. I just find it's it's got everything in there you need. All comes with, with magnetic heads. Uh, these tools all come with magnetic head, magnetic uh, screwdriver fittings. Make life so much easier. Now there's plenty of other sets out there by other people, and they've all got probably the same sort of setup. Um, don't forget when you do these up, do them evenly. Just before you tighten them up, make sure those at the back are flush. So you can see them, make sure they're all flush, sitting properly. And once you've checked, then you can do the last tighten up. Okay. Let's get the memory in. He's got those uh, sockets where only one side opens up. Let's push it down one end. In. There we go. Put the memory now, see if the fan will fit okay. Don't, we'd have to change the orientation around. Right, it comes with a cardboard box thing at the bottom. With power. Don't don't forget to take off the plastic sticker, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. So let's just check where it fit. 
so there's plenty of room uh, you can see it there there's a uh, ample room on the uh, memory at the end of the day is a good five centimeters uh, sorry five millimeters of of clearance check where that's going to come over there and uh, we should be okay so I'll push that through there the fan power supply is on the air MX5 being this is a, a non-square CPU and usually I just put a blob in the middle of it being Intel decided to make a, an oblong shape we do an X now it looks like I've got to take the fan off if I like it or not um, so I won't be able to undo it otherwise and we get this fan off. Uh, uh, uh. So I'll take the fan off. Make sure you've got a decent size screwdriver when you come to tighten it up. Because you can't get down this edge here, it's difficult. Again, make sure you sign up evenly, as otherwise it won't sit flat. Try and over tight it, it just comes to a standstill and done. Okay, we put the fan back on. Okay, put the fan back on. A uh, bit fiddly, I have to say. It basically just pushes back. Uh, pull the tabs slightly out one side push that in and then the other side and it should click a position attach the fan power and we're ready to go so we've got the memory in again see the space there uh, and you know there's plenty of clearance for this uh, fan So that's how you install the Arctic i35 fan on a 1700 uh, socket. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Andy out. Have fun all.